is this guy? Excuse me, sir? Have you seen a guy with glasses, balls, wears suits sometimes? No? Okay. Oh, oh, hell yeah! There you are. Joe, how you doing? <laughs> Happy holidays for you. Wow. What's going on? It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. What? Am I late? A Am I bit, late? A little bit. I've been here about, uh, I'd say about three and a half hours. Good. A daylight savings yeah. has me all screwed yeah, up. Yeah. Let me tell you, yeah. I got to it's, celebrate it's, early. You know, I'm sitting by the pool. It's, it's cool. Hang on, my ringtone's yeah, going geez, off. Hang on a second. Other... I don't have time for Whoa. calls. I got to put this on airplane mode. I'm here to celebrate the season. That's cool. You got entrance music. I need to get some entrance music. Listen, entrance that, music's the way really to do it. The, you can't really do can't. things like this. It's a big day. Right. It's a big day. Yeah. I've got lots of stuff going on because do you mm. know what today is? No, I don't know. It's another one of our newest, most national holidays ever. Mm. It's Austin 316. That's right. Oh. It's 316, 316. day. Right. You okay. know it. So what does that entail? Well, that just means that we have to honor the great American that is one stone cold Steve Austin. Oh, oh. hell yeah. You mean star of, what was he in? Firestorm? Fires, the, the WWE oh, Superstar right, Champion, right, right, Stone Cold right, Steve Austin, right, right. the right. Texas Rattlesnake. Right. He was the in a couple movies, Redneck. though, right? Sure he was. Yeah. He's in a few of those movies. They're great. <laughs> yeah. I recommend checking out his uh, work from uh, a little thing called the World Wrestling Federation, uh, perhaps even the World Wrestling Entertainment. Right. WWF is not World Wildlife. No, Foundation. pandas. Okay. You got right. those pandas. <laughs> right, right. Gotta right. look out for pandas. Yeah. But yes, they are now okay. the WWE. Got it. Stone Cold still reigns supreme. Yes. So All the right. world we live in today, you know, we have lots of fun holidays now, mm. right? We got Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yeah. We got Pie Day just mm -hmm. happened. It was delicious. Hope you celebrated well. I, I always do. Every March day is Pie 10th, Day for me. There you go. Mm. March 10th is now Mario Day, because M-A-R-1-0 oh. looks like Mario. I wish I knew that. I have a bunch of Mario shirts. I, exactly. I might have worn one anyway. It's I did, and you know what else happened that day? Mm. Google Maps had Mario Kart when you would do something on I your driveway. I saw that on your, it your was Facebook. Amazing. I, I was wondering, going to ask you how you got that. Yes, that that's was, right. That's the old 100 coins it costs, okay? But okay. it happened, and it was great. Mm. So now today, just like another great American, another one to celebrate a national mm. holiday for one Stone Cold Steve Austin 316. Excellent. All right. That's right. I like it. Do, okay. you, do you know why Austin 316? No, I don't. I'm going to give you I a little. I know the 316 in reference to sports, but. Right. Yeah. Okay, because. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, there's a man, great man, Steve Austin, fighting Jake the Snake Roberts. Okay, mm. King of the Ring. DDT. Yes, yep. inventor of the DDT. Mm -hmm. Well done. All right. So he is fighting uh, Jake the Snake, mm. beats Jake the Snake, wins the King of the Ring tournament. Mm. He goes up there and he says to get that piece of trash out of his ring because you know what, Jake the Snake, he sits there and he thumps his Bible and he says his prayers and it didn't get him anywhere. <laughs> talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. <laughs> Austin 316 <laughs> says I just whip your ass. <laughs> that's right, better that's, than the Gettysburg Address. Yeah, that's yes. brilliant. So right now wow. with you, with me, I uh -huh. want to do a cheers. All right. I want to do one to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. There you Your go. Pocket beers. We're gonna. That's how I'm ready to go. I got started a little early, buddy. You yeah. gotta celebrate, and yeah. I'm gonna give him a little Stone Cold salute. All I don't right. know if you remember how that's done, but no, I'm gonna I'm, show I'm, you I'm just. I'm learning fun. all of this that's right now. That's right. Little reminder okay. for you on how things happen so around I, here. I open this. I yes. Assume, right? All right. Yes. Really and then to do. get there. A pen. No, you don't need all a pen. Right. We're not doing that. But let me. I'm a little ready to go. I might get a little wild here. Let me get a little out of the area. Here, let me give you a big cheers. Big cheers for you. There you oh, go, sir. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. That's right. Whoa. That's the Texas rattlesnake for you. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah. Ah. So how was your week? This is tasty. Oh, um, it was good. Can I, I borrow your towel? Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please do. Lot. You really should uh, ah. probably sh hit the shower before you uh, drive home. Take, we'll tell you before you take a dip in the pool. I'm not too worried. That's what the Unless pool wants. Yeah, that's true. I, uh, that's true. I pee in the pool all the time. So I anyway. uh, no pee Same in thing. this pool, all right? Mm. So that's a that's a let's celebrate for Stone Cold Steve yeah. Austin. That's the way to do it. Well done. I know I feel good about it. Yeah, I think me too. I even have a little treat left. Hang on, yeah. let me get a little more. Oh, just a sip too. A little marriage. That's what you do in the business. A little mm. marriage. Mm. Oh, delicious. All right. Delicious. It's as refreshing as H two O. Tastes a lot like it too. There you go. There you go. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mmm. All right. Oh, I love it. So, uh, mm -hmm. how was your week, sir? 
It's been busy. You know, yeah. another busy week. I'm looking forward to the weekend. You what do you know, got plans? Uh, What's going on? Events? Uh, some events some in event, your life? Event for me. So my a personal Saturday, event. My sort of regular Saturday, I like to take a long bike ride, which is like 20 miles. Yeah. Put on some podcasts and just forget about everything. Okay. And it's cool because tomorrow they're celebrating the, the, the completion of the loop. You know what the loop is? I've heard of the loop. Yeah. So the loop is a bike path that basically connects uh, Marana or Valley or Tucson. Okay. One miles, I think. Okay. Huge thing. If you look at a map, it circles the entire city. It's really cool. And so they finally have connected it all. Yeah. So I know. I guess give me gas here, well, Austin. Three, delicious. Austin treat. 316. Delicious. <laughs> Worth every damn penny. So go on. All Let right. me tell you something quick. Uh, when I moved to Tucson, I noticed that they've got some interesting things around here when it comes to biking and cycling. I bought a bike. Yeah. I used it for a small, a small smattering of time. Okay. But got around pretty well with a bike. It was yeah. a good time. I bike everywhere. Yeah, you bike every single day. Yeah, because I, I, back in Boston, yeah. I used to ride everywhere in the city. It was just easier to get around. And it was kind of like fortunate I moved here and it turns out to be a bike riding place. I was like, oh, oh that worked out. That is. No, it's one of the better bike riding uh, places in the entire country, I've heard. Mountain yeah. Avenue even especially. Oh, one of the best. better My bike way. streets in the entire USA, I've yeah, seen. Yeah, it's great because you get yes. tons of room and, you know, cars aren't near you. It's, 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 it's very safe. I wish the whole city was like that. I think yeah. they are planning some sort of citywide bike trails. or they, they, They've at least talked about it. Oh, yeah? So let's hope it happens. Hey, there you go. Development. Yeah. Development. So the loop, so they're having a big celebration tomorrow. Uh, there'll be tons of people out there. So I'm just going to take a ride, you know, get some exercise and cool. just enjoy this awesome thing. Uh, the interesting thing, I was looking into this before, and um, the loop came into existence. Do you, know how, do you know why they built the loop? No, I don't. Okay, so there was a flood in Tucson in the 80s. I think it was like 83. Really? So they decided to build concrete sides okay. on the sides of the washes so yeah. to, to keep the water in. And at the same time, you know, they, they had the surface there, so they decided, oh, let's turn it into bike trails and walking trails. Okay. So isn't that interesting? They turned something that was disastrous into something wonderful that we can all use and be healthy and happy and out and talking to each other. And that's all that really fun. Stuff. Fourth Avenue should take some advice from now. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. Take a damn disaster and turn to something great for the town. Yeah, yeah. So that's that exactly right. I hope this is very <laughs> creative. Whoever came up with that idea, Brilliant. Yep, very smart. That's the way to do it. Yeah. What are you well, doing this great. weekend? Uh, this weekend, let's see, what do I have planned? It's a little thing called, uh, speaking of drinking, mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day. Okay, because when you're that's talking about right. holiday, that's what I thought you were going No. About, but that's 316, right. way more important than St. Mm. Patrick, but also St. Patrick, very popular fellow. So St. Patrick, I believe we're celebrating. He uh, got in his Uber and drove out some snakes. Sure. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, Maybe so. he works for Lyft. <laughs> but uh, something about him driving snakes somewhere. He Everybody snakes, yeah. he got gets, them where they were going. Yes, mm. gets very stereotypical yeah. and Irish and celebrates sure. and gets really, really plastered. So right. my uh, way to celebrate this nonsense is mm. this fun event at Hotel Congress. So oh, okay. I, again, don't forget, Joel, you know me, the Prince of Promotion, the mm. King of Commotion, Master of Ceremonies, and Master of Entertainment. Yeah. So Master of Ceremonies this weekend okay. at Hotel Congress. Okay. So it's going to be great. I wish I had a photo for you now, but the future has not been written yet. But my plan is rainbow suit, maybe a black shirt, nice rainbow tie. Okay. Cloud as a cape, and I'm painting myself gold. That's oh. right. I'm the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow okay. this weekend, so it'll be good. I'll get some photos for you. Go find them on my Facebook. I know okay. you like doing that. Again, I'm your BFF. You know that. Yeah, yeah Frank sure. and Silent on everything. Yeah, there you, you go. Follow me on all this stuff. So what, what is this involved? What, what time does it go to? 1 o'clock. It starts okay. around 1 o'clock. All right, I'll try to do my, my bike ride before then. Do it. All, all right. right. 1 o'clock. Listen, get very, well, I'll get you rehydrated, all right? Don't worry about yeah, it. Come on down. Okay. But uh, we got 1 o'clock. It'll be mm -hmm. all for kids at 1 o'clock yep. till like 4. There's cookie decorating. They're playing with Fruit Loops instead of Lucky Charms because they're daring to be different. Mm. And uh, I'm going to be walking around selling gold coins. And your chance to win real gold, $200 gold nugget, oh, is really? in the raffle of the coins. Oh, okay. So there's two of those. One's happening around 4 or 3.30ish. Mm. The other one's happening around 9.30ish. Then there's a big Guinness toast at 10 p.m. Okay. So it's a full day of me being wow. a lunatic for St. Patrick's Day. Long day. Right, right after the parade. That's also going on right around the time you're biking. There'll be a parade for St. Patrick's okay. Day. Okay. So I'm not going to crash that. I'm going to just throw my own party over at Hotel right. Congress. One Man it's Parade. Be, yep, kind of that's right. The One Man Parade. All right. That sounds fun. I'm very excited for sure. it. Yeah, all right. Speaking of gold, did you hear about the golds? Came out of the plane. Raining gold in Raining Russia? Raining gold in Russia, yeah. Tons of gold. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. Bricks of gold. Yeah. And not even a lot of bricks that equaled one point something tons. Yeah. So one solid brick of gold. Right. I think they found it was like more of a gold silver, but still very valuable. Yeah, it's a mix. Yeah. 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 But it it literally fell from the sky out of a cargo plane yeah. onto a uh, onto an airport runway, and right. and people. Or we're literally told, if you are found with a gold brick, you will be prosecuted. Yeah. Like and it's you in are, Russia, so you, you don't oh, want to Oh, man, don't like even it. think about it too hard. <laughs> they will act You'll right have a the, heart attack. Yep, right in the gulag they'll go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Last the, scene with a metal detector, and then hasn't been seen since. <laughs> to go back to, we've talked about this before, about funny deaths. Imagine getting crushed by a gold, a brick gold. A, a brick of gold yeah. that's worth, like, you know... <laughs> million dollars. Yeah. Finally, just, a lot of poverty. Just yeah, <laughs> screaming in Russia. Just someone give me a sign, Lord, something from the heavens, and then Great. gold brick. Just done. <laughs> down he goes. It's yeah. a shame. His widow tries to pick it up, and then she's prosecuted. <laughs> it's a horrible thing. But yeah, whatever. Sad they're story, you know. It's it's, a, they're probably gonna just be get, get a pickaxe right to his skull to right. make sure they don't lose a crumb of it. Sure. I think there's a Russian novel based on that story. Yeah. Yeah. Turgenev or something. Oh, really? Dostoevsky, maybe. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sounds like a, a light, easy reading for the yeah. weekend. The craziest thing about when I was reading that article, it said that it was found 5,000 miles from Moscow. Okay. I was like, Jesus, that, that's a huge country where you're still in the same country 5,000 miles away from the capital city, yeah. which is not coastal. Like, just imagine that. It's well, like, that's why Carmen San Diego is so hard to find. True, yeah. These places yeah, yeah, are yeah. bigger than we think. Right, exactly. You know? <laughs> Again, so people do that with the states. Yeah. Like, what's the biggest state? Texas, like Alaska. Is people forget? Oh yeah, Alaska exists. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. Oh yes, huge. Yeah. I think we bought it for half a penny a mile or something like that. <laughs> this is nothing. Sick deal. Like, yeah. Sick there deal. Sick deal. Sick Good deal. job, America. That's right. One of our finer purchases. Yeah. All right. What else is going on? Well, as far as uh, I don't know what's going on in uh, you know, I don't really pay attention to much of the news. Mm. I know you're a bit of a news hound. A little bit. Um. I know a lot of the stuff happened over at, uh, where's that place we hang out? Great Tucson, that place. Mm. Lots of new shows this week. I saw Good yeah. Night, Good Heart. Yep, that was on Wednesday. Yes, the debut of Good Night, Good Heart. Phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, also, I believe the, uh, what was it, Scorcher Report. Scorcher Report, yep. <sighs> it scorched, it burned. I, I'm still feeling the burn right. on that, yes. tell you the and truth. Music show on Monday Music on show's channel. coming to Monday. Over yeah, we talked about 20, it. It'll happen. Tuesday, we'll actually get the local show up on time. Ah. We, had, we had some technical issues on Tuesday. Huh. We did tape a show. It's, I think, be edited or being edited. Oh, is that so, the one where I, I went on a rant and a half? About, yes. Uh, yep. Look for that you fourth Avenue show. rant and yep. a half. Yep, so that will be going up soon. I would, uh, so, yeah, and then good. It's, it's all gone well so far. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. That's going well. Yeah. Well, tell me more about All right, so news let me tell you stuff, what's going on. Because I'm not paying attention right. to this. I keep my head well, in the you're, sand. You're a local guy, so I'll start local with some local guy. things. So this is kind of a weird thing. So I noticed a story. I was talking about how 153,000 jobs are coming in Arizona. And I was like, oh, my ears oh. up. Oh, that's great. I'll and tell then, you, I need a job. Yeah. So I say I need a job. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be cleaning this pool so, anymore. I've been trying to get some stuff I, on the I side. I know. They're not paying you. No, no not at all. Especially I'm peeing. It is crystal clear, though. It looks nice. You Thank do a good job. You. That's right. So, here's the twist. Go. The subhead said 80% of them are in Maricopa County. So it's all oh. Phoenix. It's all Phoenix. What, we got a bunch so. of people running the chain gang up there? Is that <laughs> yeah. what they need? Yeah. Our bio's back. Yeah. Come on, get to work. That's right. Yeah, so it, it kind of bummed me out a little bit. And then it was kind of on the same day. It was almost like when you read like three articles and they kind of all like kind of form around the same theme. Yeah. So the second one was about we're getting one of those Amazon distribution centers here. Mm. Not the Amazon thing that everyone's trying to get to come to their city. We're getting one the of those. The one where we murdered a cactus to them and they yeah. were like, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah. No, we're sending you back. And also, it's going to cost you, too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it goes so well. Yeah. They so, should have used Prime. <laughs> so instead, we're getting one of those like distribution centers that are like hell holes. Have you ever seen like these undercover reports, they're just people like, you know, working 12-hour yeah. days and it's yeah. just awful work. You're just stuffing boxes all day. Oh, fun. So that's where we're getting. And then um, the same the day, it was a C3, you know, the, they're the telecommunications, um, what do they call that when you're trying to telemarketing company? Yes. It's like one of these horrible giant warehouses. Everyone sits in a cubicle and calls okay. and a lot of young people work there and it's, right. you know, it's a call center. Call center. It's exactly it's what it is. Mo oh, C3. It's, like it's garbage. modern, horrible labor. Just yeah. waiting for that steam whistle to blow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> walking in. Just walking you know, in the coal. mines. Yeah, for yeah. some reason they were just riddled with coal. It's horrible. Now, yeah. I've got a few friends. I, I think that the, no offense to anyone out there, but yeah. the call center is kind of the bottom of the barrel 
when it comes yeah, to sure. like, yeah, yeah. I got a job, I work at a call center. The turnover rate at a call center is like two weeks. Right. It's until you find something better. Yeah. That's all. Which it's, is it's, anything. It's, yeah, anything. Yeah. Cleaning the pool. That's yeah. where you were working there before. Hey, there, right? Yeah. right in the call center. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a big step up. Yeah. So it just made me think, like, this is what we're getting for jobs. Like, that's, we have to be able to do better than that. Look at Phoenix. They're growing in 80, all these jobs that are going there. Is Phoenix growing like, bigger? Huge. People they're they're forget, one of the though, biggest growing cities right now. Well, yeah. remember, people forget, and we've got our big brother, little sister problem mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, Tucson to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Phoenix is the fifth largest city yeah. in America. Yep. So, of course, there's going to be, you can't compare everything to, but Phoenix can this, yes. Right. Phoenix draws that many more people, there's that many more people. Right. So it's population. But it's the growth that bothers me. Like, why are yeah. people now going there? You know, there has to be, what can we do? That got me thinking. What? Like, what can we do? What, what would a Tucson economy look like? Like, I've, I've said this a few times, but if we had a show, and we really should set up, you know, maybe like a three camera shoot or something. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to drink on TV. True, so that really would probably sure. violate that. But, but if, we, if we did, this would be where people would write in the comments, like, what, what, what does the Tucson economy need? Because every city kind of has its niche, mm -hmm. right? You'd have like, you know, bio, some cities are big for biotech, some are, you know, Silicon Valley, you've got yeah. these, this niche. What can our niche be? What do you think? Um, certainly wacky guys riding bicycles is definitely a thing yeah, you see. Right I don't yeah, know if that's, yeah, a, yep, 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 if that's yep, a big enough Well, I, I think that we need to form an industry around that. That's industry. true. No, if, I, if I'm being serious, yeah. I think what we need is more attractions. There's mm. a lot of stuff in Tucson that people do like. It's unique, it's different. It's not what you see commonly over in uh, other cities because mm -hmm. of the size. Again, I like sure. to call Tucson the baby bear's porridge. Even though that place is gigantic, we're just right. That's mm -hmm. what I say. It's the big little city. I agree. Yeah. You know, granted, we have some of the stuff with the students where half the town disappears because of snowbirds and students, mm. but which is fun. You get used to it. That's right. Everyone misses the real party in Tucson yeah, in the summer. Summertime. When we really have summer fun. Summer nights. And then we got to put it all away yeah. when all the normies come back to town. <laughs> but uh, more attraction based stuff, because again, the way I look at it is mm. you got this long, boring drive from Texas, right? A lot of not, not a lot to see mm. if you're taking that I-10 mm. on your way perhaps to California, yep. on your way perhaps back and forth, right? And Tucson is right there and would be a hell of a pull off to draw in people that can stop for the day or stay for the night. And just more attraction based entertainment, mm. I think, is something that would really make a big difference. Yeah. So, you know, again, you got Fourth Avenue, you got this stu stuff downtown. Mm. There is an event every single weekend here mm -hmm. in Tucson. Every weekend there's something going on, mm. whether it's a holiday or not. Mm. It, there's always action. You know, okay. but if we're also talking about you know, I guess industry and stuff like that. Well, I think that does form industry. That's yeah, right. it's, a, it's a thriving arts community. There's a lot of unique people. Mm -hmm. um, I unfortunately saw a, a statistic this week where it's like, Germany is the best place to go for the arts, grants for arts, right. things like that. I, I've heard that. Before, and yeah. America is it like on average like four cents? Oh yeah, you're it's surprised. something terrible. They're they always talking about cutting the national. It's the first thing cut. Arts it's the first endowment. thing cut. Yeah. And again, with Tucson being such a creative place, we've got the, the 22 miles of the best Mexican food. We've got a lot of historic things and lots of stuff, a lot of culture. Mm. Um, the biggest day of the dead celebration in the entire country. Mm -hmm. You know, it is, there's a lot. And that's why I think a lot of it should be more entertainment based. Our music scene is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, again, and maybe that's where I'm a little wrong, where maybe it's not just the right size. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think we could we could use a little bump. Yeah, you know, a little a little bit. Right. And that's the you know, that's definitely one of the methods. Again, I think attractions. Attractions, attractions. Yeah. Making something that's a little more entertainment based. Right. Trying to get well, people that are passing by to stop by. Yeah. You know? So I remember you it was an offhand comment that you made, maybe on the show this week, uh, about the uh, that fourth ad building. And yes. you were saying what if what if someone put like, an aquarium there? Right. You know, just an There would example. not be protests. People would right, be doing, right, yes, right, right. I can't wait. And talk about job creation. Boy, that's amazing. That's a great, fun job. Mm -hmm. Talk about all the people that would sponsor it, whether yeah. it's the, uh, you know, the Humane Society or other pet things. Anything involved with animals is very animal-friendly land. Mm -hmm. People love their doggos. Doggos. Yeah. The new term for dogs. Yep. <laughs> and that's the thing is that there's a lot, there's a lot to be said about yeah. what I see around this place from what I've seen every other place I've gone. I'm mm -hmm. just one guy. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've been to enough places I've traveled a lot, but I think if everyone really did analyze the places they traveled and what they've seen, yeah. Tucson's got something special. There's something okay. special with the people, the attitude, the mentality, the creativity. 
yeah. and the size. So right, right. again, we're you know we're a couple guys. We make a dent here and there. Yeah. Make a splash when yeah. we want. So that's the thing is that I think that there's that sort of infrastructure would help is base it on entertainment music. You know, Tucson's okay. got a lot so of it's that like creativity. A, you know, like a, this is kind of their more cheesy version of this, but like Branson, Missouri. You know, ah, you know, Branson. Branson. Yes. Yeah, they're kind of famous for wig the, capital of the world, according to the Simpsons. What is it? It's the wig capital of the world, wig, according yeah. to the so Simpsons. So it's like you know so Dolly yes. Parton, like all kind of yeah. older acts play there, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. have this kind of they've branded themselves yeah. as that. You know, it's, and it's, we might not be. I our believe thing. they said it's like uh, it's like Vegas if it was run by Ned Flanders. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. Wow, really? That's. That's, that's 20 something <laughs> years of Simpsons quotes. <laughs> yeah, They're in there. That's good. That's yes, good. that yeah, is yeah, exactly yeah. it. Yeah, so something like that, where there's this clear branding about that's what they're about, you know? And then I think that naturally attracts people. So it's maybe we already have the thing, and maybe we just need to figure out the way to message it. That's true. You know? Just keep changing the landscape. All the murals that have gone up in the past two years are yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, Things like yeah. that happening. I want to uh -huh. I want to try and meet some of those guys. Yeah. But, you know, maybe invite them poolside. Maybe catch them on the mm, way. Maybe, right. But um, you know, that's that's something I think that should be championed a bit more in this town specifically. Yeah. Is is the entertainment, the artisticness, and and that sort of stuff. That's a way for growth. And again, there are ways to build better things than student housing made out of matchsticks. Mm -hmm. In you know? Amazon distribution. And centers. Amazon distribution <laughs> centers. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah. Oh, it just makes me need Speaking a drink. that. Go ahead. It's, I was going to go um, the council meetings this week, and nothing huge on there. It's a pretty, you know, pretty regular week. There was one thing I was interested in. There were there was just a zoning thing. I was like, yeah. oh, what's the zoning thing about? Because it was Speedway and uh, Fourth and Fourth and Fifth, Sixth, something like that. Um, yeah, that area. area. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot there. I, I yep. pass it on my bike every day. So they're they're um, uh, there's zoning thing that they're talking about in that. But I was looking into it. I'm like, oh, it's going to go there. You know, I'm always perked up. What news? Yeah. What's new going on? What do you think's going there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Unfortunately. I bet I can give you five guesses and you'd guess it right. Uh, I'm, I am one guess. It sounds like, again, more housing. More housing. Not housing. What? Starbucks. No. <laughs> Is this actually what's being a real, a real thing, pitched? Because yeah. remember, these are all the horrible examples that we say. No, that's what it was going in there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and T-Mobile. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, doesn't it just make you nauseous? It did. It did. It's like doesn't it just make you, you know, nauseous? That's because again, oh, we, because you know what? Mm. I can't drive the three quarters of a mile to that other T-Mobile <laughs> in, in every direction. <laughs> oh no, that one's close. That's about four blocks away. True. Yeah. yeah there's that's, a, there's that's a like Starbucks at University Country, Country Club in and Speedway. Euclid. Yeah, there's yeah. a Starbucks. At, uh, there's yeah. they're everywhere. Right, right. That is just a. Dang, you know what? What am I gonna? What am I upset about? Make fun of Starbucks. Starbucks is a cancer. Okay. <laughs> I like it the just coffee, keeps spreading. Ah, it's dirt. I know. I dirt know, water. I know, I know. Listen, I love local coffee. I love all that local Me too. stuff. I, I drink Shot local in the dark. Oh, every oh, yeah. day. Black but also, you know, that, that there you go, black ground coffee. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts. I love the double D. Very good. All right. Very good. But Starbucks, it tastes like dirty water. Okay. I'm not a fan. See, I'll take Starbucks over Dunkin's any day. Get them. Gotta hit But I mean, think of where I'm from, there is a Dunkin' Donuts. Two steps outside my door, and oh. two steps to the left is another one. Yes, you, you live in heaven. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's just pouring Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, in. everyone I love smells it. like Dunkin' Donuts in oh, Boston. Oh, what a yeah. way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't really get Starbucks till later, so it was it was almost a novelty. Yeah, you know when I was older, and then you come here, of course, and it's on every corner. And no, now, now I'm sick of it. It takes me a little while. So again, while. I'm not sure if you can tell. Remember where remember where I'm from, New York. Okay. Right. There was a place that you could stand. In New York, I, I would commute to the city. Hmm. You can see five Starbucks from this one right. spot because yeah. there's one in that bookstore, one in that bookstore, yeah. one above there, two, yep. two. That's it how was it is insane. now in Boston. You know, they, they've, they've, they're everywhere yeah. now. The last so. thing we need exactly. is a Starbucks. That's, My God. Yeah, so that was the point of it. I, I yeah. just saw that saying, like, Jesus Christ. Do we, this is the two things we don't need at all. Oh. And it's kind of, you know, it, it is Speedway. Because and how there's many things, coffee shops are there? A coffee right shop down the street, you got locally, yeah. yes. Locally coffee shops are one of the things that a lot of people do open and are able to be opened, and mm -hmm. it just puts them right under. That's insanity yeah. to me. Yeah, it does. You know? I can't stand it. Yeah. Move on. So we got another one. All right, you're upset by it. I'm upset. All Check right. the menu. Let's, yeah, what do I What's got on the menu, menu? Here? Where's the cabana boy Ooh. around this place? Paninis, huh? Paninis, oh. huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
to talk a little bit about this. I know we already talked about guns and stuff, but we should probably revisit a little bit because that was like the big thing. When we were this talking week. about guns. Yeah, yeah that's the look guns. out! We got these water pistols. <laughs> Go on. Because a lot of gun stuff this week, and it was a weird gun week. We had the kids doing the walkouts, which was wonderful. They that was all great. Really represented. And I saw there was one school that suspended everyone. That was in Chicago. Yeah. So one and school actually, out of this national. No, no, no. There, there was a bunch. There was, there was a few. New Jersey, I think, suspended, but the biggest one was Chicago. Really? Which is crazy when you consider how bad gun violence is in Chicago. Yeah. Like they're <laughs> they're standing up for something that's a huge problem there. Yeah. It'd be like if we, you know, started protesting of whatever opioid. And, right. Oh, you know, how about just you don't need an analogy. The protest of we don't want to be murdered, murdered. in school. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And then this this ad, you keep hearing this attitude like they they don't have the right. They're not old enough to like. Oh, I love speak that. Speak out against it. Like they're being shot. Like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm sorry. Um. Are we, oh, I gotta calm down, it's casual, let's keep it casual, uh, yeah, but you're talking about all these sensitive topics, I like know, I know. the fact that the entire administration that's basically running this place mm. is worse than a bunch of children and more <laughs> immature. <laughs> these kids are coming out and they've got like, oh, I've got an affidavit for you, here's a memo, I've got an entire right. thing for you, here's yeah. a report for you. They're, because again, what's their life? They make reports. So <laughs> they're really true. keyed in yeah, to doing the work. That's what I always found funny when I was a teacher too, and I was thinking like, these kids are, are actively learning every day. So mm -hmm. like, they're probably in the best mental condition that they're probably going to be in a while because yeah. you get older and you forget how to do algebra and all this kind of stuff like they're, they're they, also young and impressionable again yeah, that's yeah, very important yeah. and this is the right attitude to have is they didn't do this to get a day off of school to, uh -huh. to do that they did this to let's try and send a message right. it is important again we all went to school mm -hmm. now when we went Columbine happened, which was like kind of the first time yeah, yeah. something like this happened. Trenchcoat Mafia, we mm -hmm. mentioned some of that once before, I think we yep. were talking. And that's the difference is that now, I mean, it has to be kind of like, could you imagine having to go to school and this is a real concern? And then even like, if you are the weird kid, hello, mm. people are going to think that like, you're we should a, be afraid of him. Yeah, you're a potential shooter. Right. <laughs> and it's, it's terrifying yeah. to me that imagine that's part of your daily routine. Mm. What it is to do that, that you actually have to be afraid and you actually start wondering about that weird kid or that quiet kid. Right. The smelly kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a the reason. One, the one with no girlfriend. That's right, we've been telling that kid he smells since first grade. Yeah. And now. Right, and then also this week, you probably heard about this, the teacher that fired the gun, did you? Oh yeah, because yeah, what, we gotta arm the teachers? Yeah. Oh, so that's a brilliant it, idea. So it was during a safety class the guy was demonstrating the gun to them and he said the gun wasn't loaded. <laughs> he shot it and the gun shot the really? ceiling. One of the kids was injured. He got bullet fragments in his neck. Oh my and God. The craziest part about this is the guy that was showing them, he wasn't just a teacher, he was a volunteer police officer. Because that's been the argument is like, well, the teachers that are getting guns are going to be the ones that are trained and qualified. This guy was qualified, is the thing. Like, still, you. <laughs> Yeah, like, like they haven't even started the program yet, and there's already and been there's an already incident. like, oh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like, there's like, another way to check that, my friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's right? a safe way to do it. Right. You should maybe take a class to learn the safe way to check if your gun is loaded. Sure. Yeah. Like, oh, it looks fine. Oh, there was one in the chamber. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yeah. That's, See, we all learned something here. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrifying. It shows yeah. you just because, you know, there used to be, it's a, it's a sad it's a sad state of affairs because again, one life used to make a difference. Mm -hmm. One life used to change the news, change the world. And now, we live in a world where, man, it just doesn't, it, it, it's so fast and everything, yeah. things like that, right? And imagine accidentally a kid got murdered that way, mm. he got killed, manslaughter, whatever it would be. Imagine he killed that kid. Imagine someone threw a gun, threw that thing immediately. And it wouldn't be a slaughter, and it wouldn't be 17 kids, it wouldn't be a terrorist attack. It would be this sad accident. Mm. You know, like they call it friendly fire in mm. the military. Yep. Like when, yes. yeah, nothing went wrong, we just screwed up. Yeah. Like, it's one thing right. when you're doing no. a play and you screw up your lines. Yeah. This is screwing up, ooh, I shot that guy to yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Because it yeah. only takes a twitch. Yeah. You know, right. and that yeah. is the scary part of, of guns. Mm -hmm. and it's the scary part of all this stuff that there's not a lot of room for error. You right. know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's all it takes. Anything yeah. you're doing, there's a lot of room for error. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, let's paint the room. Oh, we screwed that up. Right. But let's let's yeah, hold yeah, the yeah. gun. Oh, I screwed it right. up. Let's the, clean the, a gun. The, oh, the, I screwed the, it up. The stakes are a bit higher. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's terrifying. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm terrified of guns. I've had friends that have guns. Yeah. yeah and what can. happens every time you're at your friend's house and they point out that they have a gun to show you? Yeah. Right. 
And then someone at the party goes, can I see it? <laughs> and the first thing they do is, oh. Yeah, I know. 99% right. <laughs> of the time. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what they do. Uh -huh. You know, and it just shows you how, again, much like the internet, are we too stupid to have this great, great thing? There's a lot <laughs> yeah. of people too stupid mm. to be able to hold that thing even right, in their hands. Right. And that's why, again, maybe a little more regulation, a little bit, just a tad? Speaking of which. Go ahead. Congress to the rescue. Okay. So they passed a law this week uh, it, intending to, to deal with gun violence, and it was called the STOP. Stop something, so it's S-T-O-P, it's like an acronym. Oh, fun. Yeah, so this one, you'd think maybe they'd have some restrictions or whatever on there. Nope, yeah. so what they're gonna do, they're gonna give them, give schools money for, for training and for metal detectors. Great. Yeah, so problem solved. Yeah, where's this money coming from? They've never had money for uh, textbooks. <laughs> yeah. All so of a sudden, getting, they're getting metal detectors. Yeah, the so, military doesn't have money for bulletproof anything. Right, and the other question, I, the, my first question was, okay, well, Metal detectors need to be replaced, right? They're, these are, metal detectors aren't going to last forever. So what happens in 10 years when all of these metal detectors now no longer work? Yeah. Now you're on, you're on the hook now. So yeah. it's kind of this bait and switch thing. So I, do you know what a metal detector costs? No. I looked it up because I wanted to find out. No, what is the average and, price yeah. of metal? Uh, should I well, guess? His, yeah, Give me a ballpark. What do you think? Metal detector. Yeah. And it's a big thing. And then they need them at every doorway. But what does mm. one cost? $2,000. Higher. Twenty-five hundred. Uh, five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Would have taken a while to get to that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, well, we're gonna stop this game. Yep. Yeah. So five thousand is about it. The funny thing was, like, you had to like special order. You know the th products that you, they don't give you the price of it until you like sign up. You put it in like your. Yeah, card. moving companies do it all the time. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So I had to do that. So I almost bought a metal detector by accident. <laughs> that's what I'm trying Just to right say. Just right for your home now. Because <laughs> exactly. that's next. Let's get them in schools, <laughs> yeah. then in our homes. Right. Yeah, that's the next step, right? Yeah. You don't, they don't know anyone can yeah. have a gun, right? Especially at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Makes exactly. sense. That's Gotta make sure happens. you're not hiding that thing in the stuffing. Yeah. Smuggling a gun, that'll yeah. end that argument real quick. So the STOP Act. And I always wondered too, like those, act, when they do those acronyms, like do you know the Patriot Act, right? Yeah, I've heard that, of that, it. That, that... Patriot's an acronym? It's an acronym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? So like, how long do you think it took? There was probably dozens of they people in a room. They were like, P A. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. All right. <laughs> what word can we fit for I? I don't know. If you get on thesaurus.com. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Seven million was was spent to. Yeah. Uh, to <laughs> we're assembling <laughs> in a committee to look into the acronyms. Yeah. We are assembling a committee to come up with the acronym for the committee. <laughs> So it's just this, uh, it's this infinite committee. meme yeah. that just never ends. Yeah, but, then, what, yeah, so, maybe think of that. So yeah, guns, they're still a problem. That's probably oh, the most gosh. we're gonna see, you know. It, it's horrifying. It's, uh, it's a weird, scary place. Again, that's why I support the kids. You gotta support the kids. But, so, what I've learned in the past months in the state of Florida, guns aren't a, aren't, aren't a, uh, a public health risk, but you know what it is? What? Pornography, because well, on the same day that Florida was, the legislature was supposed to make a bill on gun violence, they tabled that and said they weren't going to debate it, and instead moved forward on a bill to declare pornography a public health risk. And indeed, it passed. Ah! <laughs> wow. And keep in mind, at the same time, Stormy Daniels, all this stuff is going on with our oh, president. Oh, the president's old <laughs> yeah. friend? Yeah. Stormy Daniels? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> I get some shouting, it's casual yeah, Friday. So just make some sense of that. Oh, I'm losing my hair for this. So this leads me into something else that I was reading about, is that because of Stormy Daniels, first of all, her videos are, are getting a lot of hits now. I guess oh, I gotta just, get those clicks! Yeah, they're all, all these companies are putting out Stormy Daniels, you know, retrospective things. <laughs> retrospective <laughs> on her career! <laughs> yeah, oh, best Stormy Daniels, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's happened on, on DVD A36. Oh, yeah. I remember when Stormy Daniels did that? That was great. Oh my God, it was like gone up. with the wind. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. It changed the game. Yeah. So what it was they were talking about on um, uh, uh, Pornhub and uh, you know the porn sites is that the the comments have gotten political because of Stormy Daniels. So in Stormy Daniels videos, you'll find all this political commentary. Let me tell and, you. Yeah. Now, again, remember, this is everyone's secret shame. Again, everyone looks at well, porn. There's, there's some comedian everyone. That, made, that made the joke. It's like, he said he was watching porn, and everyone was like, ooh, he's like, this is like a $200 billion industry. It's yeah, just me, You right? all <laughs> are doing it. Stop yeah. it. But to be the guy that's going to go down into the comment section of a porn site, mm -hmm. I don't go to the comment section of YouTube. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. 
So the fact you're going to the comment section of you porn, yeah. that's interesting it's to be, let's debate legislature. Yes. Which can well, I wait, I'm sorry. Let's debate legislature. <laughs> You gotta do that one handed. Yeah, true, true. You, you gotta be able hand. to do that one handed. I know you're always on me about the phone, but you, would you, you know, can I read you one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So this one was a comment on, on Pornhub. And so the, here's the comment. Oh, you got a shortcut to that right now on your phone. I see. I how do. It works. Yeah, I got it ready to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's the comment, and this is underneath the Stormy Daniels uh, porn video. Great video. But does anyone else ever wonder whether or not unilateral military force should be justified <laughs> to prevent another country from nuclear prolifer proliferation? And to what extent should unilateral action be allowed? Should one military be able to decide the pace of technological advancement for another country? That's the question from user Common Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> gay witch abortion replies. <laughs> That dude is an Eskimo brother with the president of the U.S. of A. Oh, of course. Yeah. Right. And Gay Witch Abortion got 20 thumbs up. Come and Mouth got 26. Oh, oh, where did those thumbs go? You know what? No. I don't want to know. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. The world that we reside in. I know. What a time to be alive. Oh, it yep. really is. Oh, moon pies. <laughs> oh, my God. I. That is devastating. That is devastating it is, to it hear. Is. I, I laugh because... Um, there was also someone, when it comes to porn, I think when, do you remember when Hawaii had their accidental nuclear attacks about yeah, to happen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Apparently, Pornhub released like an amount of like, oh, at that Shut time, up. like, yeah. Going out this with a bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to uh, yeah, do what else what I, I mean, if you're going to die in a half hour, I'm Straight, gross. it's so funny. And I'm like, I asked, and my buddy uh, is, is from Hawaii, calls yeah. me up. Tell me what's going on. I'm like, what happened? I'm like, what did you actually do? Because right. there's the things are going on. I always on. thought of that. What, what he's I trying do? to, and, and he's trying to piece together. Is this real? Is it not? Mm -hmm. You know, this and that. But he's like, well, the sirens aren't blaring. Okay. But the phone went off. The radio isn't doing the emergency signal. But this is saying okay. that. Okay. So it was he like had some doubts. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there was some doubts, uh -huh. but people do, still did do what they did. So he calls his parents. Like, hey, what's up? Is like. What do you do? What are you going to do? Right. And you kind of treat it like an earthquake. You apparently, you go, you hide in like either a basement or a doorway because sure. it's the one, kaboom that you got to worry about. Yeah. Otherwise, you are incinerated. So I'm not worried about there. Yeah, yeah, sure. But we can pay he asks his mom, it's like, Ah, oh, we just took the DVD player downstairs with some movies. Like, <laughs> yeah, wait, it's wait, the apocalypse. My, you're yeah. about to maybe incinerate. It's yeah. like, you know what? And I think it was like, what movie? I think it was like Tin Cup. Yeah. It was so, of course it was Tin Cup. like yeah, Kevin yeah. Costner horrible <laughs> film. Like, you're gonna go out. That's your choice yeah. for. Yeah. Oh, we got the alert. The world's Get it. everything guess, together. Uh, Get those of bottles Vance. of water. Yeah, <laughs> and Bagger Vance. Here we go. I could yeah. not believe it because again, right. sometimes. It's a reality check for how fragile it all is. Mm. You know, people yeah. were putting their children and families down in the sewers. Imagine okay. there's footage of this. Yeah. Imagine that, because again, it might happen. So sure. I'm sure they saw in, you know, Wolverine Part 3 that, oh, let's just hide in the sewers, <laughs> right. it'll be fine. Yeah. But yeah, isn't that something to think about? Yeah. Like, that's how fragile it all is. Yeah. But then that's how some people react. Well, I guess we'll just go watch TV. Like, yeah, I don't know how I would react. I mean, I've thought about you this. You don't. And I mean, it, you it, don't. I've always thought about it if I had a day. You know, if it was like, okay, I don't know what well, situation. Well, stuff has to set in. And again, you can just, uh, everyone, you know, it was a 9-11 moment. Mm -hmm. Is this happening? What's going on? What? Really? No. Yeah. Really? Second place. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What's next? The Pentagon. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's happening in reality right now? Right. Because you're waiting for Superman to show up and for all this to be phony. Yeah, and true. That's the thing is that a lot of people almost take it personally when mm -hmm. something as big as that can go awry, mm -hmm. you know, and it's it's a scary situation, but it shows you how this is all basically what, you know, teetering on a thread like there's yeah, just yeah, sure. yeah, there's yeah, not yeah. much. Yeah. I think you teeter it. on a thing you hang from a thread. So if you're teetering on a thread, <laughs> OK, exactly. that's a skill and a half. Right, right. But yeah, so I don't you know. know. It's all very fragile. It's it all very is. fragile. This yeah. whole uh, society we've right, got going on. Right, right. Are we yeah. here for time anyway? I was saying. Oh, uh, as far as things are concerned, yeah. I have an appointment uh, right. with... I know you uh, had an appointment. So. Yeah, but right now, yeah. it does say about... Oh, that, that appointment's not for about... It says about six minutes, but also, okay. it looks like my ride's not here, so I'm not sure if I'm as pressed for time. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so we'll, we'll just see going. what happens. All right. Why? Well, what else is so, on your mind? Well, I, I want, I want I'm not in a rush. I probably yeah, need to yeah, all right. chill well, out, I float. Well, I'm going to return. Maybe float a little bit. Here we go. Pardon me. <laughs> pardon me, balls. There we go. Float a little bit. There. there it goes. All floaty ball. Well, so if, yeah, I might take a dip. 
take a little dip okay. through. That sounds good. But I think we still got some time. What else is on your mind? Because again, big weekend coming up. Yeah, well, That's I want to actually just a, a final little, uh, to return to the porn thing a little bit. Yeah. Just a, qu a little quick thing I wanted to point out. Because also a today. A little distracted. Yeah, you, you got to go. Like oh, sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's all floating. Yeah. But go on. So I was reading today that the. The guy, his name is John Bailey. He's the one that runs the Academy, like the Academy Awards. Oh. So he's the one who... The Academy. The Academy, That's yes. That's the one. Yes, I'm from the Academy. Mm. So he's the one who, uh, he kicked out Harvey Weinstein a few weeks ago, right? Because of the okay. Weinstein thing. Today, reports, he's now accused of sexual harassment. Big surprise, yeah, everyone. Yeah, So to, to connect it with the porn thing, the point I'm trying to make, right? Go on. And I was reading about this a little bit today, is there's more female directors in porn than there is in Hollywood. Well, like way more. <laughs> let me be honest, because again, I've partaked in some pornography from time to time. I've heard about it. Well, Sometimes, about it. when you are because now here, because here's me. Mm. This is very real. Okay. I have don't a tough too, time. Don't get too real. Huh? No, <laughs> I kind of have a tough time with porn sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm a nice fella. Sure. You don't right? like you don't like the rough stuff. It's just sometimes a little bit much. Right. Ooh. Where you Ooh. you kind of feel <laughs> bad for people. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And that's my problem. I'm never really watching the porn. It's like, yeah, that pizza delivery girl is going to show up. And blah, 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 yeah. This, that. That's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's more like, I wonder why that actress got into this. She's real pretty. I wonder whatever this. And I'm thinking about like okay. the real life yeah, thing yeah, and yeah. not focused on the story of what's right. going on. So sometimes you get into those things and they start out innocently enough. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, what yeah, the hell's yeah, happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something that calms me down is all of a sudden, because these things, they're not shot very well. Mm -hmm. When you all of a sudden hear like, cut, and then like, oh, yeah. and it's a woman. <laughs> And I'm right, like, right, oh, right. that actually makes me feel yeah, not as lot, bad. There's a lot of female directors, apparently. For some that, reason, it makes me feel not as bad. Yeah, like, yeah. everyone's a little more like, yeah, we all, you know, it's yeah. fine. We're all, there's ladies behind here. Uh -huh. She's not alone with these dudes that are just right, taking right, right, advantage right. It, of but, this situation. Well, that's what these women were talking about, is like that there are some of those that go into it for, you know, that have bad, but she said uh, the majority of people she deals with are just people who go to work. It's a job for them. It's a it's an oh, it's a job. It's a job. Oh, it's a big job. <laughs> um, but that's how it's looked Depends at. Depends on the guy. Yeah, and that's how it's looked at. And and you have lawyers on set, and you know there's isn't it, that yeah it's 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 an industry. You no, know, yeah. think about it. It's I don't know how many billions it's worth, but like lots of billions. Yeah, the so biggest. They have to really be. They they have to be on top of that stuff. I think I saw a documentary on this once. It was called Orgasmo. You should watch it. <laughs> yes, I, I Documentary I heard film. Of it. Yes. Hip, hipster style. That's right. <laughs> Orgasmo. Yeah. Classic. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is in some ways, Hollywood is almost more disgusting than the porn industry. The thing that we're saying is a, is a public health crisis. And it, that huh. is an excellent point. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right. Isn't that something? Well, again, a lot of people, it's funny because I said this a, a while back. Sometimes I've got this thing. I don't know if you know this about me. A little bit of a, I read this in a comic once, and it was Iron Man talking to, uh, talking about him and Reed Richards, someone who's like, he's like, I'm a futurist. He can, he can kind of, it's almost like a super, like he can see where things are headed. Right? Okay. And sometimes I give myself credit for being like, huh, so this behavior is starting to pick up. Hmm. Okay, and so I you can, can see, see the yeah. yeah, I can see the snowflake that's gonna turn into the avalanche of like sure. behavior, right? Yeah, yeah. And one of the things about it is, this analogy has almost made me lose my track of the train of thought. Mm -hmm. What were we just yeah, talking about? Back. Uh, yeah. Porn, Hollywood being worse than porn. Right. Sexual harassment. So there was a website that like people can go do chores for people. Yeah, TaskRabbit. Uh, yes, because yeah. it's a little bunny as a logo. Yep. Okay, so TaskRabbit. And how do you get more and more on that? Ratings, things like Yelp, things like being an Uber right. driver, right. things like this. Yep. What is the future currency of America mm -hmm. and the world? Accountability. Accountability mm. is becoming far more valuable than anything right. because yeah. everyone's dirt is going to yeah. come to the surface. I've Everyone, that too. It's like if you want to get on top now, just don't sexually harass anybody. Don't screw Because everyone's up. just right. <laughs> getting knocked off the right. platform. You know? Like that's the thing. Yeah. Like again, politics. Super nice guy. I'm terrified that someone's like, what porn does he look at? <laughs> but that's the thing. Is that's that the a least lot of, of that your stuff, problem. That's kind of least, now. You know, I mean, and that's the thing is that a lot of these people that do all this stuff, it's like you got a lot of skeletons in your closet. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was always very common. The world was very much like Mad Men, mm -hmm. and they haven't grown out of that where you can slap right. a girl's ass exactly. and you smoke cigarettes indoors and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yep. One of my favorite quotes from Mad Men was, 
when uh, it's so you remember Mad Men's a show about yeah. advertising, all that stuff takes place 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and. Again, women were just getting into the market of secretaries. All oh, black secretaries, a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. To even have that job. But one of the main stars, the character that she plays is Peggy, and Peggy becomes kind of the bigger deal, is they're doing a thing with all the lipstick, and then she doesn't like it, and she makes a choice on her own about something else. What if they this? Okay. And all the guys in the chest think they're watching. Yeah. And one of them says, she just chose her own thing and made a decision on her own. Yeah. It was like watching a dog play the piano. <laughs> that is insanity, yeah, and that yeah, was only yeah, yeah, in the yeah. 60s. Right. So this right. sort of mentality by 50-year-olds and 60-year-olds that mm -hmm. grew up in the good, these good old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back when it right? was great again. Right. Yeah. That, they can be misogynistic. They can be mental cases. Right. They can treat people like dirt. And they can think that they've got the power to be manipulative and do all that, and that was and that a they're big, entitled to do right, that too. Okay, yeah. and that people are so shocked. A rich man taking advantage of yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Of it's course been, it is. Right, the casting couch thing. You know, right, it's, it's, exactly. This isn't anything new. Right. Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of the whole thing is that accountability is becoming more and more worthwhile. You know, mm -hmm. when you can say that, like, yeah, hire me. No scandals to worry about. No secrets right, to hide. Right. No, anything Wait, going so wrong. Saying, I'm actually a good guy. Hire me. So you say there's, yes. a, there's a you 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 get rewarded for being a good person. Look at that. Whoa. One of the benefits of this here <laughs> internet of ours apparently is that yes, you want to be a five star person. How about that? That's right. Five star review oh. for being a person, right. and that's where we're headed. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's a lot of these scumbags. Future. Yes. A lot of these scumbags are going to get caught. A lot of them are going to. Mm -hmm. They're coming out of the woodwork, as you see it. Celebrities, monsters, all these people in charge, yep. directors, bosses, all that stuff. It's still going to take a, a while. Yeah, yeah. But so it's still the pushback right now. Right. That's the whole but we're raising a generation of people, and especially young oh, ladies, yeah, for sure. to know yeah. I will never be treated like that, mm -hmm. ever. That is not the way it's supposed to be. I will speak up for myself because you know what? Nothing is worth any job, especially the type of job they might want you to do to get that job. Yep. All right? Yep. Fame ain't worth it. Fame ain't worth you, who you are as a person. That might break you forever. Yeah. And that's the thing. There's a lot of outlets and avenues now. Hollywood does not have this one-way strip on Vine, okay, mm. where that's how you get there. There's a million different ways to do it. There's a million different ways to get noticed, to be creative, to do certain things, and to, and to get out there and, and get your message across, whether you're a YouTube star, all right. these types of things, Twitter. Filming a show. Filming a the, show by randomly by the pool. We right. should do it. YouTube. I agree. Right. Green screens yeah. of gold, Creative Tucson, so Channel easy. 20. Yep. Check it out. Mm -hmm. I do it all the time. I just leave it on for the doggos at home. Yeah. That's right. That is what it. I love it the most. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. That's Ooh. about it. Personally, so it... I'm getting a little getting a little sticky. Are you? I'm yeah. getting a little sticky. Yeah. It I'm might be too. time for me to take a dip. Okay. I'm gonna take a I'm dip. I'm up for that. Yeah. Is your is your ride back? I don't know. I think uh, I think I saw him pull up, but I'm gonna jump in the pool first. Okay. And then take it from there. Fair enough. That works for me. Hey. Cheers. Stone Cold Salute, happy 316. Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Animal.